Hey guys, Crimson Overlord here, and look, it's Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. Wow, this game is old. Uh, but this is the best game on the current console system for Dragon Ball Z if you like fighting games. Um, if you just like Dragon Ball Z, then it doesn't really matter what you want to buy. Um, but as far as like fighting system goes, this was the best one on the current system, or the current round of systems. Uh, it's not the best one of all time, but, you know... Uh, I don't currently have any of the other ones. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of fighting games. I like Street Fighter, and I like uh, I like Tekken Tag, and I, I enjoy Soul Calibur, but I don't currently own any of those for some reason. I really should get on that. Uh, but I was messing around the other night, and I was playing this, and uh, I was going for the uh, 100 wins without dying achievements. Uh, it's a special game mode. I forget what it's called, but you basically you just you fight and fight until you die. Um, and at the end of every battle, you get like a bar and a half of health back. Uh, so if you suck it up one battle, then you start the next battle with less than full health. Uh, and it's kind of fun. Uh, I think my record is like wave 69. Uh, I would have, I probably would have already gotten the achievement for beating all 100 at some point, but... I uh, I had to stop at 51 that time that I was playing uh, because the the power was flickering and I didn't want to lose my game save. Uh, but so I was messing around the other night and I was just you know I was playing this for the fun of it, uh, getting back into it because I haven't played in several months, uh, trying to like reteach myself the combos and how to play. Uh, and you know it's just a lot of fun. I just thought I'd post up something you know completely random. I don't know how many people like Dragon Ball Z, or how many people like fighting games. Um, you know, like I said, if you like fighting games, then this is the best Dragon Ball Z one on the system. Uh, the other one that came out after this was pretty terrible in terms of fighting games. And then the one that came out after that was just a clone of the terrible one, uh, with like two minor improvements or something. Uh... You know, which I can totally get into why it's terrible. I can even like show you gameplay, and if if that's what you guys want. But uh, this one's really cool. You the 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 combo system is not not that comprehensive. Uh, you know, you, I think the most hits you can get just by like tapping the light attack repeatedly is six. Um, and then you can like mix in throw a couple uh, heavy attacks at the end, and it's still. Six, I think, is the max combo that you can get um, with punches. But you can uh, you can throw in like special attacks, like I'm doing here, like anytime you want, really. I just interrupt the combo. Um, if it wasn't a Dragon Ball Z game, if they just had the system like with uh, some random fighting game, you'd probably be able to continue the combo afterwards. But I don't think they put that much thought into it. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, I kind of, I mean, I can throw, y if you watch, there, there are several times, like, throughout the entire time that I was playing, that I, I kept, I kept knocking the opponent away with a combo, and then doing a short-range attack that missed, like, every time, uh, because when you're fighting human opponents, they usually get back to you right about the time your attack goes off, because human opponents are a lot quicker to get up. Uh, whereas the, you know, AI opponent just kind of lays on the floor for a few seconds. Um, so the timing is a, is completely different against a person than it is against the AI. Um, unfortunately there's no, like, super juggling aspect, uh, in this game. Uh, which is probably good for me because I, I really dislike it when people do that. Like, I, 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 I hate that about, like, uh, Soul Calibur. I hate... I hate when there's like a, a point where I, I can't get up because they just keep knocking me back into the air so I can't hit the ground. Because um, air juggling is, is really irritating. Uh, e even when I'm doing it, I feel bad about it because it's, it it's, doesn't give you... There's no counter to it. Um, I would like to see a fighting game where there's like a counter to air juggling because I think air juggling is kind of cool. You know, I like the, the idea of it. But without a counter to it, it's really overpowered and just unfair to everybody playing. Uh, 
it's just something something for the game developers to think about really would be something like that uh maybe like the next soul caliber because you know they're making another one maybe have like an air juggle counter uh something like uh in this game you know because of all like the the way the game is you can like teleport behind people like that and stuff and kind of counter their super moves um so something like that where you just you know not teleporting but where you like dodged out of the way of their blow and it like you landed on your feet uh you know i don't know what you would have to push or whatever you know some kind of like little mini combo as you're being juggled that that can let you do that or um, some kind of automatic dodge that's based on your like special meter, whatever the Soul Calibur's special meter is called, I forget. But you know that that'd be cool, just because air juggling is, is fun to do, and and I don't mind it so much if they allow me to get up at some point. <laughs> um, you know, as far as like ground, as far as like pounding me on the ground because I'm too slow to get up, that's my own fault. Um. I, I talked a long time about air juggling, didn't I? <laughs> um, but, you know, I just... Again, I just wanted to throw this this random gameplay. This is like the tail end. This is actually, like, basically the last ten minutes that I survived in this mode. Which is sad, because I didn't even make it to 60 this time. But I was half asleep. It was 4 a.m. I was just kind of playing for the fun of it, so I didn't expect to get all 100. Um, and I often play at 4 a.m. I often record at 4 a.m. because uh, that's when I'm up. Uh, you know, it's it's usually the tail end of my day. I'm usually a little tired, so uh, I have been trying to record a little bit earlier to keep my uh, commentary uh, not necessarily exciting, but energetic enough that I don't sound like I'm half asleep. <laughs> Which I might still sound like I'm half asleep. I don't know. Uh, but I, I think I sound a little more energetic now than I do like in real life. So that's plus on my side, I have been trying to improve on that. Uh, I do use, uh, for those of you who don't know, I use uh, YouTube for a multitude of things, like a multitude of reasons why I do YouTube, and one of them is actually to improve upon my public speaking. Uh, it gives me, like, you know, I can uh, I can learn to uh, get to my point faster, I can learn to, uh, to, to speak a little more energetically, uh, not sound so like boring or confused like I, uh, I I'm a lot better than I was when I started um, and it also like there are a couple videos where I allowed myself to cuss while recording because it just was so irritated for one reason or another um, but there are very few and far between I think it's total there's a total of like two or maybe three on the entire channel and with the exception of one they're like beeped out uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, I try not to, to cuss, but, uh, not, not that I personally have anything against, like, bad words, uh, because to me they're just, they're just words and they don't really mean anything, uh, because respect is really a, an attitude more than a word, uh, because words like ma'am and sir that people find respectful, like, I don't find them to be respectful because they're words, you know, because if you say it in a disrespectful way or if you don't mean respect when you say it, you're just saying it because you're supposed to. I don't really see how that helps at all, but I know a lot of people don't like bad words, and I know that if you say, you know, if you if you like curse like nonstop, which I occasionally do, it, it sounds really terrible. It just sounds like you have nothing interesting to say, and you're just throwing out words so you can keep talking. Um, and so it sounds bad, even even though it, even though it means literally almost nothing, it, it sounds really bad to hear somebody talking like that all the time. And I got in a habit, because I hung out with a lot of people that uh, do it all the time. And I got in a habit of doing it, and uh, I, I don't want to do it, like, in front of my nephews or, you know, whatever. I don't want to, like, I don't want to teach little kids bad language, because I know a lot of other people have problems with it and stuff. Um, so YouTube helps me, because I can kind of, I'm kind of forced to uh, limit myself, to kind of police myself on that. And uh, so I generally, I take the... I take the, the the road of policing myself with that, and I try very hard. And uh, this guy is kicking my butt in this game, in this match. Uh, but, you know, I I like that. It helps me with the public speaking. It's really cool. Um, you know, and I mean, I do it for other reasons, too, but uh, the, the public speaking is, is definitely uh, a very important aspect of it, and I, I very much like it. And I, I 
suggest that you try something like that. Even if you don't post anything on YouTube, try try like recording commentary uh, and just you know speaking in a specific way. You know, like not cursing or whatever, because it, it just it does whatever. However you want to please yourself, it does help you, and it helps you like later on, like when you're not doing commentary, it helps you police yourself. And this this was a high rate robbery because I would have beat him if the time had not ran out. <laughs> Uh, but that's it for this video, so uh, I will see you guys later, and uh, uh, have a good day. Please let me know how I can make this channel better for you.